Okay. Hey everybody, let's take a look at some tape diagrams in which we're looking for an individual part. So for our first problem today, let's say for example that Sam eats three fruit snacks for every two that Jesse eats. Well, when we draw a tape diagram of that, Sam eats three snacks, so we would draw three boxes here to show that he ate three. Jessie only ate two, so her set of boxes would look like this. And our ratio is three to two. But if we know that Sam ate 39 fruit snacks, how many would Jessie eat? And the way that we find that is that we look for the value of each of the boxes because the boxes are roughly all the same size, they have the same value. So that means we could take this 39 and divide it by three and that would tell us the value of each box. So in this case, the value of each box would be 13 because 39 divided by three is 13. Well, because we drew Jesse's boxes the same and the ratio is three to two, Sam has three boxes, Jesse has two. That would mean that her boxes are also worth 13. So for now, we can tell that we have two groups of 13 here, which means that Jesse ate 26 fruit snacks. Okay, let's look at one more example of that one. In this case, we have a recipe for cupcake icing, which includes six, six cups of sugar for every five cups of milk. So that means our ratio is six to five. And the six stands for sugar, and the five stands for milk. So if we draw this using a tape diagram, we would set up our sugar right here so that we have a set of six boxes for the sugar and the milk would have just five boxes so that would look something like this okay cool so we've kept our ratio at six to five six boxes for sugar and five boxes for milk now, what if we know that the person making this recipe used 70 cups of milk? How could we find the amount of sugar up here with just that much information? Well, we would have to know first how much each box is worth down here. And so doing a little side problem, we could say, let's see, I better divide... 70 by 5 because there's five boxes and that tells us that we have 14 so each box here represents 14 cups of milk in order to keep our ratio the same that means that all of these boxes also have to be worth 14 right if we're going to keep the same ratio so what we would find out here is that we could take the six boxes times 14 in each box and that would help us to know that this took 84 cups of sugar to keep the ratio the same. Okay, those are two quick problems to help you see how to divide parts finding uh, to help you find how much the value of each part is using tape diagrams. Okay, good luck. Thanks for hanging with us.